of all, I want to say this is an amazing park. Like, this is almost out of control, so I, I'm glad we're speaking now, because you probably won't get a chance later. I'm at the rain dance party because I love rain dance, and I love how they're inspiring people to just go out and do it, you know? Just go out and make their own stuff. I love it. I'm a big supporter of rain dance. I think rain dance has a great education program for filmmakers. And Rain Dance just sponsored the premiere of my new book, Filmmaking in Action, which is the premier resource for independent filmmakers and university students. So we're having a good time here. Canadians have this real natural ability to make things happen. And that's what independent film is. It's making stuff happen and not waiting for the moguls of Hollywood to say yes. We have such a rich community of filmmakers and so much talent and, and a lot of the time Canadians walk around with this like Eeyore mentality like, thanks for noticing me, you know? Canadians aren't Eeyore, we're Tigger, we're Tigger. We need to be fierce, right? Some of the programming that Rain Dance does is so aligned with what TIFF does and the ability to be able to create opportunities for emerging filmmakers. We're here to support Rain Dance because we, are, of course, are very, very fond of filmmakers that are doing such wonderful work cross-border. What would be your words of wisdom to uh, an indie filmmaker? The technology is so much more affordable and cheaper than it ever was when we were coming up through the ranks. Uh, you can make a good film for really little money. Your iPhone is now a camera that you can make a movie on. Um, you know, you can rent a camera for as cheap as, a really nice camera for like a hundred bucks a day. Like, there's no excuse. You really want to support the community and be there and make sure that the Rain Dance people know that, you know, we're, we're a source for gear and equipment to help them out. We're working with, with filmmakers, independent filmmakers, launching films at the movie theater through First Weekend Club, and then simultaneously launching them on our video on demand platform. What I'm excited about seeing is how the worlds of both the web, TV, and film sort of slowly merge into something that makes a little bit more financial sense to people to put money into it, which gives indie filmmakers a lot more opportunity to get in front of audiences.